On today's ride, I visit Papong Mountain. I look back at the gear I left at home, I shelter from the rain, and I finally arrive in the one horse, or maybe two horse town of Kun Yuan. It's weekday morning and it's goodbye to Mae Hong Song. It's goodbye to the quaint little town with the best airport in the world. One thing that did strike me and I thought of last night is that the two days that I've been here, I've not seen one other foreigner. I'm the only one. Now, if you contrast that to Pai, you'll find foreigners just about on every corner. So my previous statement of this is more authentically Thai than Pai, I think very much holds. Pai, a big enclave for foreigners who've made their lives there, and I don't blame them. It's a great place, it really is. But I think for the real authentic experience, get yourself to Mae Hong Song. Okay, so today we're gonna to make our way to Kwan Yam. 65 kilometers away and uh, 1,200 meters elevation. Or rather 1,200 meters of climbing. A little bit easier than yesterday, thank goodness. And the gradient's not quite so uh, steep. It's 9.30 in the morning, uh, 29 degrees. I'm halfway up the first climb and I'm already absolutely bathed in sweat. It's gonna be another difficult day. But wow, the view behind, absolutely tremendous. This is a great view of Papong Mountain, which is 20 kilometers south of Mae Hong Song. Down in the valley below is the river. And if I pan down, zoom in, you might just be able to see it between the trees, right in the middle there. See if we can get a better view a little bit further up. Yeah, that's a much better view. You might be able to hear that. Thankfully, the rest stop at Parpong Mountain Viewpoint has a nice little coffee shop. There you go, 1,860 feet of elevation. And I've got a drip coffee. Looks traditional. I reckon that's going to blow my head off. Probably be sprinting the rest of the way up this mountain. I've just come out of the hills. I'm heading straight for the rain by the looks of it. I'm not too sure if to keep going forward or wait a few minutes, see if that rain passes. Well, this is quite handy because 500 meters from when I last spoke to you, I found this little shelter here. They've even supplied a chair. So I'm gonna sit down here and wait out this rain because it is getting worse. There's no changing the facts. I'm 60 years old. I weigh 95 kilograms. My FTP, it's so low, I'm sure they can't even measure it. Now, with those facts taken into consideration, it made sense to jettison as much gear as I possibly could for this trip. So let's go back to my past self and see what I left back home. Behind me on the floor, that's all the stuff I decided not to take with me doing the Mae Hong Song loop. This is all my cooking gear and food. I've not taken the multi-fuel bottle. I also left the camping gear behind. And a few clothes and a toilet bag. I also chose just to go with one lock, a lighter watch and ditch the goggles and also just took the one adapter. A few miscellaneous tools as well. I ditched those and I took the front rack off. Now that's everything, so let's get out the scales of truth. That's 12 and a half kilograms, that's quite a lot. If all of that wasn't enough, I went one step further and I jettisoned a perfectly good pair of shorts and a t-shirt just to save a few hundred grams. Absolute madness. And if that wasn't bad enough, at the end of the ride, I threw away a perfectly good pressure gauge just to save a few extra grams. 
What was I thinking? Another day's hard climbing and another lunch at the side of the road consisting of one banana and a bag of crisps. But I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. There you go, all your bird watchers, get yourself up to Kunyuam. I'm coming into Kunyuam and that's the end of my ride today. 1,000 metres ascending and not a bad day. Today's been quite a lot different to the other days riding. Uh, firstly, temperature's been between about 25 to 30, which has made the riding a lot easier. Also, the climbing, although I've climbed about the same number of metres, the gradient's been 4 to 8% and that's manageable. When it gets to 10, 12, 14, 16 and above, it gets tough and it takes a lot more out of you and the, it's, it's slower going. Uh, so yeah, on the whole, the riding's been easier. It's just a shame that there's only been the one nice scenic viewpoint, which is uh, where I stopped for coffee. But hey, you can't have everything. This is Kunyuan Main Street. It's all looking like a bit of a one-horse town. I retract my earlier statement. There might be another couple of horses down here somewhere. It's five o'clock and I finally got to Kunyuan Resort. Doesn't look much from the outside, but when you get inside, it's lovely. This was 450 baht. That's about 13, 14 dollars. It's really hard getting up here. It's four kilometers uphill from the main town. Further than I would have liked to go at the end of a long day, but. I've timed this well. This is just 20 minutes after I arrived. I wouldn't have liked going up that dirt path in this. It's quite muddy. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell and leave a like. It honestly helps me out tons. Thank you very much. Enjoy your bikes, enjoy your rides, and I'll see you in the next video.